two tips to learn and improve your French. The first one is memory and knowledge. Studies have shown that the memory is an assimilation to previous knowledge. For example, if we take the vocabulary with a deformation or a simplification of vocabulary. So memorization is, in general, an integration to previous stored knowledge. In the memories, there may be a reinterpretation or an invention of details for consistency. So now we, we got this information. So what the link we can make between these informations and learning and improving your French? So when I learn a foreign language, I use my previous knowledge. I use, so in other words, I use my mother tongue to remind me of vocabulary, of sentence structure, of recognizing between a masculine noun and a feminine noun, for example. So for example, the English speakers have a hard time differentiating between a masculine noun and a feminine noun because in English there's sometimes no difference between the both of them. For example, the monkey is eating. I will say it is eating, not he or she. That's a famous example between the English speakers who, and the, and between the English language and the French language. So if English is your mother tongue or it could be Spanish as well or you need to, to pay attention, to consider that, to pay attention to these elements you have in your mother tongue, in your mother tongue, that can be a difficulty to learn French. It can also help me. That's important as well to consider, to pay attention to what are the common points between my mother tongue and my target language, between English and French language. If English is your mother tongue, if or if you speak very well English, that's very cool to learn the structure of the sentence in French. But to learn, when you already know it because it's the same, so it will be very, very, it will be easier for you to to get the structure of the French sentence. Je mange une pomme. I'm eating an apple. Je mange une pomme. Je is the subject. Mange is the verb, une pomme is the complement. I am eating an apple, I is the subject, am eating is the verb, and an apple is the complement. So the structure in English and in French is subject plus verb plus complement. Subject plus verb plus complement. The second one is the learning transfer. Life would already have to be redone if new learning was needed for each new activity. For example, I learn how to drive a car with the car of the driving school and I spend as many hours relearning how to drive a car with my own car. That's not possible. So this is not the case because of the flexibility of the brain. Most often, a learning facilitates the second one. It calls the learning transfer. Um, school education is transfer based because it's very rare that you find something in life that looks exactly the same as what you've learned in, uh, during the school or the university. Studies show that the transfer is very effective if the second learning is very similar to the first one. A researcher, Reed, showed that students trained to learn syllable lists are not able to learn faster poetry or Latin vocabulary. If I know how to drive a car, I will be able to drive another car, but I won't be able to drive a plane or a motorcycle. So now, what is the link we can do between the transfer learning and learning and improving your French? Learning words from the same lexical field. I learn words from a lexical field, so I develop skills. Learning group of words, associate mental images and be able to reproduce this specific information. It contributes to the motivation and the pleasure I have. I succeeded to learn the words of the first, of the first group, of the first lexical field. So I want to feel again this pleasure. So I will have more uh, capacity to learn the words of the second lexical field. And I can learn a third lexical field and I will improve as um, I will improve my, my uh, language, my, the foreign language I want to 
improve faster and easier. The structure of the sentence. In French, the structure of the sentence is subject plus verb plus complement. So for example, je mange une pomme. This is the same example as before. Je is the subject, mange is the verb, and an apple is the complement. So I know this structure, subject plus verb plus complement. So I pay attention when I'm in a new sentence. For example, j'aime Paris. J is the subject, M is the verb, and Paris is the complement. Paris is the complement. Here we are, it's done. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to receive your free ebook, 12 tips to learn the language effectively, you can subscribe to my newsletter on my blog, fastfrenchlearning.ch. You can as well subscribe to my Facebook account where already 1,100 people subscribe, so thank you very much. I'm very happy. And to my Instagram account and to my Twitter account. And if you like this video, please share it on the social network. And if you have comments, obviously let them below the video. Thank you, bye.